Ciao. My name is Austin and welcome to my second channel and welcome to Italy. Right now we're actually walking to the smallest country in the entire world. It is called Vatican City, which I didn't even know existed. And Vatican City is placed inside of Italy, like right outside of Rome. It's a three mile walk where I'm staying to get into Vatican City. And I just realized I don't have my passport and I have no idea if you have to like go through customs across the border or how any of it works. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Okay, we're approaching the border of Vatican City. Why was that the longest three miles of my life? That felt way farther for some reason. Um, but we're approaching the border now and when I'm looking at the map, it's literally just like this park and there's St. Peter's like church and St. Peter's Square. But there's literally no like town or anything. It's just this church and then it looks like a park. So I don't know how much exploring you can really do in it. But um, the border is literally right here. I don't know why I feel stupid. I pictured like an actual, not border, but like customs and stuff. But no, it's literally like you just walk into another country just that easily. And just like that, we're now in Vatican City. So I really don't know how much there is to explore. I don't know if there's restaurants or anything in here. I kind of went into this open-minded and blindsided. So we'll see. Very crowded for being the smallest country in the world. But yeah, there's no customs or anything. You just literally walk right across the border. This is the line to get into the St. Peter's Basilica, which I'm assuming is where the Pope is. I should probably do some research, but I think that's where the Pope is. But look how long this line is. So I'm absolutely not doing that, sorry. Um, that's gonna be ours, I'm assuming. And it's gonna be so crowded in there anyway, so we're just not gonna do that. I really think this is just its own country for the Pope, I feel. Like that's the impression I'm getting. Cause it's just, it's literally just a tourist trap right now. And um, I don't know, there's no like actual community vibe. But I'm gonna try to get out of this square plaza thing. Okay, there's like two guards over there, but then I see people walking behind them. So I'm just gonna go up to them and ask if I can explore. But I don't know how this works. Like this country layout is very confusing. Like this is the main thing here. But then behind it, there's this huge park and I don't know if you have to get in line to go through all of that. Ciao. Um, am I allowed to just walk? Like, if I want to go here, just explore? No, it's not public. No, it's not. So this is only public for Vatican City? The only parts of the Vatican City are public is the Basilic, the St. Peter's Square, and the museums. Okay, it's just you have to get in line? Yes, to for do that. the Basilic, yes. Okay, all right. Thank you, appreciate it. I also like wanted to get a haircut here in the smallest country in the world, but it's actually so small that they don't have shops, restaurants, or anything. It's just the museum. It's basically just the Pope's country, like it's his own country, because um, there's a museum and then you can go inside, but nothing is open for the public. 
I'm gonna try to walk around and see what the border's like. But yeah, this is the only area you can really explore. They don't even have like stands with water or anything. So you can't purchase anything in this country. Like I wanted to get a ring here and I wanted to get a haircut and then like some pizza. But um, I feel like I'm gonna get flamed in the comment section for not doing research on that. But I mean, it's a country. I, I, you would think there's something. I thought that was like a stand to get some food, but it's just to buy tickets. And that line is disgusting. So I'm absolutely not doing that. Um, yeah, that's all there really is to Vatican City. <laughs> I can cross it off my list for countries, but a little disappointed. It's not really a public country, I would say. And if you're a person that's okay with waiting in lines, then come to Vatican City. And it's really cool architecture, like this This is really cool and pretty. But yeah, I'm, I, was, I was literally gonna make this video all about Vatican City, but it's gonna be too short. So we're gonna get some food in Rome and uh, go on another adventure in Roma. Yeah, I wanted to do a main channel video on Vatican City, but there's nothing to do in there, so. I'm just gonna do this video and we're just gonna explore Rome. Um, I wanna get some pizza, maybe a bottle of, or a glass, excuse me, a glass of wine. And uh, I still have a lot to explore. It's just my second day here in Rome. So I still have a lot to explore. And uh, I haven't really been over on this side. I was saving Vatican City for a whole video. But I wanna explore outside of Vatican, or outside of Vatican City in the Rome area. See, like that building there is part of Vatican City. I probably should not be doing this on the crosswalk. So there is a lot of buildings inside the actual country. It's just there's a giant wall blocking it off. And the only way to get into like the museum or the main building is in that long line. So I don't know if you're the person that's into that type of stuff. Like I would love to go inside and see the church, but that's probably a two hour wait. What is this one here? That's margarita? Or, okay, and then what's that one? Huh? Okay. Can I do that one as well, please? Uh, take away. We got margarita pizza and just like a ham. Not in Vatican City. Sorry, I wanted to eat there, but they had nothing. So, to Rome. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The cheese. When they say smallest country in the world, they really mean smallest country in the world. Like, why do I think there'd be locals and people I could talk to? Um, Rome has palm trees. Why did I not think Rome had palm trees? But they do, in fact. Okay, that gate's open, and this is the most exclusive bench I think I've ever seen. You're kidding, this is a dream. I have no idea where I'm even at, but look at this. I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she was speaking Italian to me and I had to pretend like I knew what she was saying. One in Rome. Okay, but the five? I do like Rome. It's one of those rare cities, I think I said this in my last video. But it's one of those rare cities that I could see myself moving to and like learning Italian, living in like a small studio closet 
and just staying here. But then there's also part of me that wants to travel the world. But then I find cities like this where like, oh, I could easily stay here for two to three years. Learn Italian, eat pizza. Alright, we really didn't get to explore Vatican City too much. I didn't do a lot of research. I didn't realize it was kind of a private country. I really still don't understand how it's its own independent country, but um, we tried. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my Instagram at Train102. Check out my main channel for more videos on Rome and Italy and stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next country. Uh, ciao.